space is a truly fascinating place. Whilst, to many of us, we look up to the sky beyond our atmosphere and picture an endless stretch of emptiness, a vast vacuum in the universe. That's really not the case, though. Space is filled with incredible discoveries just waiting to happen. Whether we are exploring the places right beside our own planet or are investigating way out into strange and far-off galaxies, from light years to rocket trips, there is a wealth of knowledge to be uncovered out there in the universe and researchers are constantly uncovering more and more with each passing day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three of the latest discoveries up in space. There are strange structures inside Mars's moon Phobos. Our planet has just one moon. Though that's not true for all those beside us in the solar system. Jupiter clocks in at 80 moons, though some are yet to be confirmed. Mercury and Venus do not have any between them, and Mars has just two, barely beating out the Earth. Some moons have been of more astronomical interest than others, and one of Mars's moons, Phobos, certainly has some elements that for years have gone unexplained. For Phobos, we have very little understanding of where exactly it came from. Though some have suggested that understanding more about the unusual structures within it could help to give us some clues that might get us a little closer to cracking the case. The Mars Express, a 19-year-old craft that orbits the Red Planet, in the September of 22 came close enough to the planet's moon that it was able to provide a new perspective to the celestial body thanks to the upgraded advanced radar for subsurface software. We don't know a great deal about Mars's moons, but their circular orbit and placement in line with the equator suggests that they formed around the planet as opposed to being captured into orbit, which would result in a more elliptical orbit. However, we have no concrete, definitive answers about how they came to circle the red planet. This research has provided us a new chance to take a glance at the moon. Are the unusual structures linked to its composition, or are they linked to its formation? Hopefully, with more time and research, we will be able to uncover more about some of the other moons in our solar system. Extremophiles could survive on Mars for millions of years. If there is life on Mars has been a question plaguing the minds of scientists and the general public alike for centuries. The idea that one of our greatest mysteries could have an answer contained within our planetary neighbour is thrilling and terrifying all at once. 2022 research, however, might indicate that some certain life forms might have what it takes to move in and call the red planet home. Deinococcus radiodurans, or more commonly known as Conan the Bacterium, has made a name for itself as one of the strongest, toughest microbes that we have uncovered. This is in part due to its ability to survive in the most intense radiation. In fact, it has previously survived in radiation that has killed all other known life forms, so it certainly has earned its title as tough, strong, and possibly Mars-worthy. We have conducted a series of experiments testing microbes that classify as extremophiles, meaning that they are capable of withstanding and thriving in highly unlikely, intense, and in general extreme environments. These organisms were placed into conditions designed to mimic the latitudes found on Mars, hitting temperatures as low as negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit, being exposed to ultraviolet light, gamma rays, and high-energy protons, all of which aimed to replicate the cosmic radiation Mars experiences. The results revealed that Conan the bacterium, or a similar microbe, could very well survive in a Martian environment if it were 33 feet or 10 meters beneath the surface and was both frozen and dried out for 280 million years. This bacterium was discovered to be able to absorb 28,000 times what a human could. Whilst these new findings might sound like a series of overly specific conditions, these very much replicate where we would expect to see life on Mars. Scientists discover planet TOI-3757 NASA created the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite to detect exoplanets out in space. TESS is responsible for the discovery of more than 4,500 potential exoplanets, which experts are now combing through to help determine and confirm if these potential finds are truly planets, and more excitingly, if they could be habitable. TESS works by scanning the skies to find any changes in the brightness of stars. If there is a small, 
temporary but periodic dip in the brightness of a star from our sightline, then we can assume that something has passed in front of the star. This is what TESS identifies, and in many cases, it is an exoplanet momentarily blocking the light of the star that it orbits. TESS was launched back in 2018, and has gained a good bit of experience since then, but this latest discovery made in the October of 2022 of exoplanet TOI 3757b has certainly got people talking. TOI 3757b has earned itself the nickname of being the fluffiest planet ever, with some even referring to it as a marshmallow world. It spans a staggering 150,000 kilometers, making it fractionally larger than Jupiter. This gas giant has a surprisingly low density, very similar in fact to that of a marshmallow. The National Science Foundation's Noir Lab, who are responsible for the operation of some of the telescopes used, has awarded the title of the fluffiest planet we have ever found. TOI 3757b has been found 580 light years away from Earth, orbiting around its host, which is a red dwarf star and is able to complete a cycle around its host star in just 3.5 days. Red dwarf stars are extremely active. They have a significantly lower temperature than our sun does and yet still emit powerful flares. It's events like this that make it difficult for planets to form around red dwarfs, and it's even less heard of for giant planets to form around them. Shubham Kanodia, a researcher at the Carnegie Institution for Sciences Earth and Planets Laboratory, explained how difficult it is for these classifications of planets to form under these specific circumstances. He said in a press release, so far, this has only been looked at with small samples from Doppler surveys, which typically have found giant planets further away from these red dwarf stars. He continued, mentioning that the discovery of TOI 3757 marks the finding of a large enough sample that we can begin to investigate close-in gas planets in more depth, detail, and with greater rigor than had been possible up until now. So between the unusual star and the odd classification, there are certainly some things that remain pretty unexplained about this fluffy planet. How did it form at all, and how did it form with such a low density? Some theories have begun to emerge, the first of which looks at there being a low number of heavy elements in the core compared to other gas giants. Another suggests that the elliptical oval orbit could cause an excessive amount of heat, resulting in the atmosphere of the planet essentially bloating. Researchers hope that employing the James Webb Space Telescope could help to uncover more about this unusual and intriguing planet. If we learn more about the atmosphere and the formation of TOI 3757, who knows where else the same rules could be applied. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.